G'day, g'day, and welcome back to LA. In fact, we are in Santa Monica with Kaya, the vampire. And we are in a safe house that has been uh, given to us by the Prince for our duration of our stay here in Santa Monica. Ah, oh, got decent tasty music. Look in the coil. Okay, let's have a little look around, shall we? Probably don't need to run. It's better. Let's just walk around. So. Hello, LA. You're up way past your bedtime, aren't you? Hope you've slipped into something comfortable. I know I have. Okay, we've got a radio. Got a fridge. With blood packs. Cool. Three of them. Chan. Pizza. TV. Murder. Actor Ash Rivers is lucky to be alive after his car crashed into the gate at Parasite Studios earlier tonight. Witnesses say mm -hmm. that they were shocked when the negative zero star emerged unscathed and apparently unfazed by his high speed accident. Rivers' agent released a statement stating that Rivers' crash was due to a mechanical problem and that the studio is not pursuing legal action against Rivers for the trademark gate's destruction. Miraculously, this is the second crash Rivers has escaped unharmed in the last year. Our okay, let's, let's see what we can see here. Hey, the password for your computer is Sunrise. Keep the cash in the drawer, it's yours. I dropped you an email with my address. Come on over after you get settled. Mercurio. That's the prince's agent. Hundred bucks. At your convenience, please come and visit me in my home downtown. I leave you this to guide you. Dark blood, our curse. I light this verse. Such power I sense in one so young. Come find me where burns the mystical sun. M. Strauss. Tremere Regent. Hmm, so uh, the Tremere have an interest. Croy Foundation Secure Intranet. You have five emails, five are unread. Type menu or command. Okay, email. Sunrise. Email for Suckerhead. Okay, number one, I guess. A reminder from LaCroix. Mercurio will contact you when you arrive in Santa Monica. Waste no time in meeting with him. Okay. Dang, it's big, you know. From a hung low. Penis enlargement. Watch the girls come running. Call today. Kilpatrick's Crime Pewter from Arthur at Dirt Cheap Internet. Looking for that lazy ass ex husband who's late on his alimony payments? How about that jerk who knocked you up? Look no further. With Arthur Kilpatrick's amazing Crime Pewter, you can find almost anyone with a record, and these days that's just about everyone. So come on down to Arthur Kilpatrick's Bail Bonds. If you've got the deadbeat, we've got the technology to find him. Welcome from the Curio. Hey, welcome to town. Come on over to my place once you get situated. And we'll talk about what you'll need to get the job done. I'm going to pick up some explosives right now. Some astrolite. I should be back by the time you come over. I'm at 24 Main Street in number 4. Walk to the end of the alley, and my building is the next one on the right. The opening from a friend. The game begins. A pawn is moved. I'm guessing I'm the pawn. Okay, so apparently Mercurio is in number 24 Main Street. Number 4, is that like an apartment number? So at the end of the alley, his building's at the one on the right. Okay. And that's all I can do. Keep it down, guys. 
Tuesday morning who says he smelled it a mile away. The mystery creature is thought to be some form of giant octopus. Though marine biologists that have examined the monster have commented that they have never seen anything like it in the cephalopod family before. They speculate that it could be from a yet undiscovered family of sea creatures. A massive gelatinous creature that washed up on the beaches of Providence, Rhode Island, has scientists scratching their heads. Found by a jogger early on Tuesday morning who says he smelled it a mile away, the mystery creature is thought to be some form of giant octopus. Hmm. Okay. Now, I'll just check my, ooh, check my log. Regent's Riddle. Wherefore art thou, Mercurio? Okay. Okay, I am in 508. 507. <clears throat> well, there's no chance of me doing that. Hmm, Carnival of Death. <clears throat> Gruesome remains found on the pier. Police baffled. That would be too hard. Hmm. I might be able to do that with blood buff. I did indeed. Sneaky, sneaky, steely, steely. There's much in here. Hmm. There's something over there. Peepin, a voyage field guide. Okay. Got some estrogen. <laughs> Got a normal watch. That's a replica of a much nicer watch. And peepin. This book raises your stealth skill. So it's a stealth book. Cool. Can never be too sneaky. Oh, I'm getting low on blood, aren't I? Okay, looks like I've got a letter box. 505, we've got Keegan. 506, we've got more. 507, we've got Murrieta. 508 is me. Hey, hey, lady. You, you got some change, lady? Hmm. What should appear on the doorstep of my web? But a nice, juicy fly. <laughs> I am a bit thirsty. Now, these guys are drain so quickly. Healthy. Doesn't look healthy either. <laughs> you just pump up blood. Okay, so I'm assuming that's the alley, so this is Mercurius building. Trips pawn shop. Devil's brand tattoo. Professional body piercing. Medical clinic. Seymour's Coffee, delicatessen, restaurant, fine wine shop. Santa Monica. 24. Santa Monica Suites. I'm guessing that's where I've got to go. Gallery, Gallery Noir. Okay, before I go exploring, let's go check in with Mercurio. We're entering Elysium. Hmm, guess we just follow the blood. 
three, number two, number one, number four. Those mothers ripped me off. I'm dying here. Oh. Are you the fleet-footed god? Uh, Mercurio, if that's what you mean. Oh, shit, you're a Malkavian, aren't you? Damn, that's the last thing I need. I'm bleeding all over the carpet. I can't even understand what the hell you're saying. Hmm. You need to only open your eyes. Now, tell me your tale. I got... I went... Uh, what is this lump? Is this my rib? Oh, holy shit. My rib is poking through my side? Oh, I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. Hmm. Apocrates was not my forefather. Who broke you, Mercury? Goddamn chemist. Can't trust any operators in L.A. I verified him. Organizations seem reliable. Guy mixes up speed. His crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Four of his guys, they come out of nowhere. Junkie bricks hit me with a bat. <coughs> it feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. I never should have gone alone. Amateur move. I should have handled those bricks. Goddamn dirty Cali rat bastards. Those cocksuckers beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. But shit, they got the money, they got the astrolite. Hmm. Of what blood do you speak? Right, you're straight off the bus. Once a month I get fed vampire blood. Heals me faster, makes me stronger than a normal human. I don't age. By looking at me you wouldn't realize it, but I'm almost 60. Hmm. Okay, where do I get the boom boom? Those small time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Four or five of them. And one's got the explosives is Dennis. Got my money too, that prick. Okay. How do I get my boom boom? You gotta you gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him, maybe break in. I don't know. I wanna kill him. Do whatever you people do. I blew it, I know. I can kill him. I've got a bet myself. So my assistance may help you greatly? Yeah, if you could... Oh, something just started leaking. I need something for the pain. Okay, I shall return with some numbness, Mercury. Ah, uh, one more thing. About the deal. I mean it. You tell anyone about this, I'm dead. I'm begging you. I got a way of getting people what they need. You don't say anything, I can help you out. Your words will be weighed, Mercury. Farewell. Okay. Okay, need a series of painkillers. Need to go to the beach. Yeah, grew some remains found on the Santa Monica Pier. Okay. So I'm starting to collect some quests here. And I need blood too. Terms of knowledge. Okay. Well, painkillers. The medical clinic there was probably the uh, obvious choice. Should we have a little look in here? Hey, how's it going, girl? Uh, I seek the Vault of Gold. Oh man, wait! Say that again! Uh, did I say something? There you go, oh, man! <laughs> You're a vampire, aren't you? You're crazier than one who I see in the mirror. Come on, you are too! Oh man, don't bullshit me, girl, just come clean. I ain't gonna tell no one, it's okay! I just wanna talk! Let's trade words, golden boy. Hell yeah! Oh man! I knew it! I just... Oh jeez, I knew you were... I just could tell! I... Oh man, this is great! And I saw your teeth and, and I was like, damn, it was like I could just sense you. The name's Knox Harrington. Pleasure to meet you. Oh man! Are you also Knight's Child? I'm a ghoul! I didn't know about any of this stuff until a couple of months ago, when this guy just appeared and... 
Well, all of a sudden, BAM! Whoa, man! Vampires are real and right there in front of my eyes! Blew my goddamn mind! Ghoulish is as ghoulish. Wait, what is a ghoul? Well, the way it was explained to me, whenever a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire blood, the human gains a little vampire power! Can heal up quick and that kind of stuff! Jeez, oh man! And they're a ghoul and ooh, watch out! Hmm. What creature spawned you, golden ghoul? Oh man! I really wish I could tell you, but I don't think I'm supposed to. But it's really cool to be talking to you just, well, because I don't get a lot of chance to talk to vampires. Oh man! Well, other than my master. So I thought I'd just say, you know, what's up? <laughs> you know? Hmm. Are you a happy little golden ghoul? It's awesome! Man, after that first taste of vampire blood, it's like the best drug. Oh, man, I'm telling you, it's like... Well, it didn't mess me up. It just made me feel like I was better at everything. I felt like a god just sucking on that nasty dude's wrist. Nasty dude? Hmm. What makes your life move today? Look, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I'm on a secret mission for my master. Well, hey, ha, it's been great talking to you, man. But I'd better be going. Oh, man, you know, important stuff to do. <laughs> Secret mission, huh? Anyway, I have vacated the building. Don't touch me, please. Uh, no. Okay. Please, wait your turn and you'll be seen. Uh... My friend is in need of the gifts I come bearing. Alright, uh, go on back. Nice night out, huh? Yeah, nice night if you're a duck. Quack, quack, quack. Okay, let's see what is behind door number one. Uh, uh, please, get a doctor. Uh, the broken will be mended. Ah, my insides. It hurts so bad. Hmm. Is there a doctor in the house? Got an exit. Door number three. Hello. Oh, what? I'm sorry, miss, but you're going to have to wait outside like everyone else. No exceptions. A saintly little morsel is teetering on death's razor edge. Uh, are you sure you're in the right place? Psychiatrics are on the third floor. My vision is as clear as the murk-muddled rainwater. I have no idea what you're talking about. And to be honest, I don't have time to figure it out. I'm the only doctor here right now, and we have twice as many people as usual waiting for treatment. But the little angel is sliding further into that great black abyss. Listen. I think you're telling me about that girl over there, and I hear you. But right now, I have a man with a bullet hole in his head, and he needs me more than she does. Just stay with her and make sure she doesn't go into shock, and I'll be there soon. Okay. Nurse, I'll be in the bathroom. Someone call my grandma, please. Don't go before I rescue you, little morsel. Uh, 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 hmm. Test my blood and be mine. Uh, 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 <sighs> Your flesh mends. You... Who, who, who are you? 
Oh, what did you do? What did you do to me? <sighs> I'm a simple worker, a hospital healer, out of uniform. No, no, you did something. I can feel it. It's fixing me. You, I, I kissed your wrist. What did you do? Some things are best forgotten. Wash me from your mind. You. I feel like I know you. Like you've always been here. I must leave you, my blood love. Farewell. Okay. Let's jump closer to getting oh, some... What time is it? Painkillers. Computers for Grandma. What the hell is that? Estrogen. My watch. Reading this will boost your computer knowledge. Cool. Anything else here? Surgical forceps are not a toy. Ain't that the truth? Okay. Ooh! Another pill bottle. Ah. Two uh, lots of estrogen. Don't think that's going to do much. Dr. Malcolm St. Martin. Hmm. What if I can blood buff? My blood is low though. Well, that worked. Ooh, morphine bottle. Three of them. That'll work. Oh, there's anything else in here. with computers. Okay, let's just get back to Curio. Give him some morphine. Time's a-wasting. Have a little look around. Up, sleepy dead. I have some numb juice. Oh, oh, holy Christ, I needed that. I will return with the boom boom. Ooh, humidity gained. Ooh, I've almost maxed out my humanity, that's good. And I've got five experience points. What if I can increase. Hmm. Yes, I can increase my strength, dexterity, or stamina. I think I want to increase my um. Yeah, that's cost of three. I think I'd rather do one of my physical attributes first. I might do my strength because that will increase unarmed combat and melee combat. Dexterity will increase lock picking and sneaking. Stamina will increase bashing soak. Although that's my toughness. Maybe. Prevents damage from bullets, police patterns, and baseball bats. Maybe I should increase that. I. I'm torn. 
Am I going strength? Am I going strength? Okay. Yeah. We need to go find the beach. I'm wanting to take these guys out, I think. That's what I'll do. And put my feet on them. Because I need blood. So that might be the way to go. So beach access. It does indeed. Okay, public beach access. Signal Street exit. Okay, let's go. Beach access to the right, Second Street to the left. I've seen a lot of shocking things in my time on the force, but that pier, that's the kind of thing that makes you lose your faith in humanity. I gotta say, it's the second worst thing I've ever seen. Poor bastard down there is torn in two. By the looks of it, you'd think someone tied him to two horses and raced him in opposite directions. What could you have possibly seen that was worse than what's down there? Up there, through that chain link gate and up those stairs. Ah, the demons who broke the fleet footed god. Those men you are looking for. Hmm. You see the twisted strings of my tomorrows. Speak more. Never mind. You wouldn't understand. Okay, may the moon light your twisted path, Shadows here. Farewell. So apparently I've got to go up there. That's the pier. Maybe I should have a quick look at the pier while I'm here as well. There's something over here. It's a wooden stake. Oh, that's not going to help me much against the uh, beach guys. It's a big dog. Psychic readings by Dam Leota. Playtime. Cool. River Raid. Blood Quest. Pitfall. Call of Duty. Rampage. Bubble Bump. Okay. So what's a bubble bum? Chewing gum. Grape flavor, huh? Wow, oh, okay. Okay, you saw the bloody murder scene on the pier, but weren't able to find out anything significant about the killer. Except that the killing was extremely brutal, vicious, and beast-like. Wow, okay. Now get to the wheel. Okay. Let's go back the way I came. Okay. 
Okay, let's go take out these chunky pricks. these guys outright. I'm going to feed on them if I can. Um, I'm going to try and talk my way in and then I'll take them out. Help you? I want to go to Never Never Land. Okay, you can go on it. And if you really want to make my night, go ahead and start some shit in there because I would love it. Would you? Shit will not be started. Mercurio. Guy with a name like that deserves to be beat. Tension. Inflict some pain. It's a doggy over there. Okay, we've got a few guys here. Now, can I? Take this guy out. Hey, hold it. Oh. Oh. oh, fuck. That. Fuck you. Fuck me. Ow. That's just rude. Deserve it. I've got a knife. Now, yeah, what's better? Fourteen, fourteen, sixteen. Damage potential. Okay. You. My fangs are probably my best weapon. Double Dragon. Hmm. 
fridge. Surf's up. Emails. Hmm. Can I hack? Nope. Okay, it sucks with computers, that's why I didn't bother with them before. Okay. Hmm. Something in there. What's in the box? Cash! That, oops. Okay. Our work here is done. These guys got what they deserved. Hmm, you already have this weapon. A doggy. I don't want to kill the doggy. Look at the extra light, that's all I need. I'm kill the doggy. Not his fault. Like I've told you types about a thousand times now. We know we can't hunt round here, all right? We're minding our own business. No reason to hassle the weaklings. Hmm. I'll cast no shadow on your flame, little sickling. You mean you ain't here to run us off? No. But a pity to be trapped within invisible walls. We're getting pretty sick of it. Someone sighting domain, or in the worst case, is hunting us for sport. You're a vampire, you've got fangs. Who is the hunter and why? Dunno. We all seem to have come down with the same disease. Oh, who am I kidding? We're a bad horror show, alright? We seem to be the runts. The mistakes. You types call us thin bloods. I say we're all equally screwed. Hmm. Tell me of the thin blood. <laughs> I'm damned if I know. Well, I know you don't want to be one. You seem to be in the loop. You tell me. Hmm. I pick my thoughts also. How is this curse laid upon you? I'd just come to town for the surf tourney. Seems like years ago, but it's, well, been about six months now. Every night during the finals, I used to hit the local diner after the beach parties fizzled out in the AM. That's where I met her. The flower girl? She had a natural beauty. Not like all the plastic dolls littering the sand. Her name was Lily. I remember introducing myself, the way she seemed grateful for the company. Well, a few nights after our meeting, we were on the beach alone. Okay, tell me your tale, little sickling. She tried to tell me what she was, but I didn't understand. And so she showed me. I was furious with her when I took it all in. I cursed her and left, never really knowing what I was. Well, I realise now how she must have felt. So here I am now. Mystery to myself. Is your flower dead? Clinically, yes. But honestly, I don't know. I suppose I'd have moved on by now if I didn't think she'd show up one of these nights. There's a lot I've got left to say to her. Hmm. Does the thin blood flow for you all? Aye. Most of them just recently arrived in LA. Got chased off by the Sabbath or some such thing from their home cities. They're more in the dark than I am. They're a good bunch, but. They've been through a lot. It's affected them. Hmm. Perhaps I can delve into the mysteries of your thin blood. 
I hope you have better luck than I did. No one's been particularly friendly to me in this city. The only reason we're in Santa Monica is because we haven't been chased out yet. Hmm. I'll return if I learn anything about your thinness. Do you know who the head vampire is? He walks among us, playing his ancient game. Huh? You mean he's around here? Where? And, and what game is he playing? I, I really need to find him. Why do you seek the Dark Father? If the head vampire dies, we all become human again, right? Uh, that's only a silver screen dream. Oh. But... How about blood transfusions? If I get a full blood transfusion, I can become human again, right? Hmm. The disease sticks to you like a dirty underwear. What? Oh, no. There, there's nothing I can do? Nope. That underwear is not coming off. What? You're not having a blast? But how? I don't want this. I want to be human again. Hmm. In dreams you will be. And I'll be a dinosaur. Rawr! There's nothing I can do. I I'm damned. Hmm. Sorrow will be your companion. Fucking mayhem, bro. Uh, e e evening. Blood runs red on the fairway. Why? M mur murder. No, no, I, I, I wasn't here when it happened. I'm not here anymore. Easy, easy, easy. No. You had me. No, no, you are going to China. Yes. The future may take me where you see. Why is he smiling? The father. Is it, is it the father behind him? I see the dark father. And the one who stands in front of him. You chased it for the one at the top of the city. On the sea. No, on the ground. You found it in the crypt. It's open. It's open. Oh God. Oh God. Run. Yes. Tomb will light up the night sky. Uh, I sorry. Sometimes I see nothing. Disregard what I say. Look again. Perhaps I can share your dark vision. I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. Blood carnival begins tonight. Do you see? Murder. Yes. The killer is dead. He moves soon and travels to the heart of the Angelis, and to the home of the stars, and then returns fulfilled and empty once again. Mm, the vision is blurry. Even one such as blurred as myself. I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. Mm, then I won't look at you, either. Farewell. Yeah, I think I've done everything here. Let's head back to uh, Mercurio. Tell him the good news. Look at that. My blood counter is full again. Just the way I like it. My health is up as full as it can get as well. Okay, main street. It's the second street. Okay, so there's a whole other street here. Anyway, I shall come back here. Let's go talk to Trio.
might actually go to the uh, pawn shop too. I might be able to sell some stuff. Wake up, sleepy dead. Uh, I got the boom boom. Yeah? Did you waste those sons of bitches? I did indeed. I sent them to the other side. Good. Great. Hope it was painful. Did you get my money back? Easy gold, Mercury. Ah, oh, you're a lifesaver. I might have to buy some new kidneys with this. Okay, where do my feet lead me next? You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a Sabbat interest. Hmm. Tell me of the House of Wares. I heard a lot about that operation. Well, I'd love to get in there, get my hands on the equipment they've been unloading. But it'd be suicide to walk in there. Got a small army of trigger-happy types and they're all packing. I don't know, maybe, uh... Yes? Uh, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tong's hiding out at the moment. The worm hides in turbid liquids. Tongue's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? Anyway, word is Therese and Tongue are feuding. I don't know the details. My takes that Tongue thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're going to have to get Therese to call off the feud. Therese. Where is the Dark Daughter of Janus? She and her sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Some freaky customers frequent that place. I try not to do business there. Well, I'm a freaky customer. What can you tell me about the Dark Daughter of Janus? She's the woman around here. Power player. Nice looking broad for a dead chick, but uh, personality like stone. Hmm. I need you to paint me a picture of someone. Who exactly? Janice's white daughter. Therese? Therese I don't like, but I can respect her. Jeanette's different. I don't know what to make of her. She's a little, you know, in the head. I don't know. Therese is, well, like you. And I would think so's Jeanette. But I hear rumors about her. What whispers? Call me old-fashioned, but uh, I just can't talk about that kind of thing in front of a woman. Hmm. Okay, I need you to paint me a picture of someone. Who, exactly? The worm is Black Bath. I don't know him myself. I'd like to meet the guy. Kind of a local legend. He and Therese seem to be contenders for this city. He's crafty. Smart guy. I haven't heard anything bad about him. Okay. Tell me of the lady in her places. Specifically? Hmm. I need some boomsticks. Guns? Guy named Trip up the street. He keeps a few pieces under the table, but he doesn't sell to anybody. Doesn't have a license. I'll give him a call. He'll sell to you. It's the least I can do. Okay. I left before my mouth stopped moving. Check out how many experience points I've got. Five! Now might be a good time to increase my resilience. I'm thinking, I left a few weapons up at the beach house. If I sell my weapons, can I go back to the beach house and collect some more? Two bats up there. Don't touch me. Uh, hey, hey. What? Uh, how's it going? You, um, looking to buy or sell or. The voices tell me you have a boomstick with my name on it. Oh, oh, damn it, who told you that? The fleet-footed god. Fleet-footed? What the hell are you spewing about, dude? Mercury, messenger of the gods. Mercury? You mean Mercurio? 
Mercury, who whispered in my ear. Yes. Huh? What are you smoking? More importantly, where can I get some? <laughs> Look, I can't have people talking about this, you know? I'm not exactly properly licensed, and these weapons aren't precisely legal. Show me the boomsticks. Look, now, I appreciate your business, and I'll sell to you, but don't tell anyone else, okay? Keep your nose clean. My head is moving up and down, isn't it? All right. Come take a look, then. Okay, so... What's he got? Ring... Another ring, another watch, a baton, police baton, ammunition, and some heavy clothing. Okay, let's sell some stuff. Let's sell tire iron. I'm going to sell the baseball bat. I'm going to see if I can get another one from the beach house. I'm going to sell this pea shooter. I was going to sell. Do you want a car stereo? Yeah, can't even sell that. Do you want some morphine? Watch. Some estrogen. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to give you that. Okay, so I've got $231 now. I might actually aim to buy this clothing. It's not cheap. But it might help my defence in combat. Okay, do I have time to quickly run up to the beach house again and grab another bat? Or should I not even bother? I don't think I'll bother. I think I'll just continue on and just hope that I get some more money as I go. So, I might leave it there for now. Join me next time. And, yeah, we'll uh, continue our little adventures here in Santa Monica. Hopefully the rain stops at some time. Anyway. Until then.